Dearest pen pals, every pen enthusiast knows when they found the right pen. The moment the nib touches paper is like magic. This experience is the focus of Leonardo Officina's collection called the Momento Magico. After much experimentation in their workshop based in Naples, Italy, Leonardo introduces its most affordable piston filling fountain pen yet. Let's take our first look at this new design. Arriving soon in the summer of 2021, the Momento Magico introduces a dazzling array of marbled acrylic colors in gold or silver appointments. For those that prefer the look of a classic pen, Leonardo offers the Magico in matte or glossy black with gold, silver, or black trims. In this first look, I have a sample of the Mille Fiori design with silver trims. Fans of Leonardo Officina fountain pens will immediately recognize the pointed conical ends and the thin vintage style wheel pocket clip. It looks similar to the Momento Zero design in form and size with a few key differences. Instead of thin wedding ring style cap bands, the Magico's cap band has a geometric cutout design that shows the pen material underneath. The cap also has a step before it transitions into the barrel. A large ink window is visible even when the cap is closed. The differences don't end there. Let's take a size comparison with the original Leonardo Momento Zero, the amply sized Momento Zero Grande, Narwhal Schoolkill, and Sailor Pro Gear Rialo. Unscrewing the cap one full turn reveals the Magico's tapered grip section and stainless steel number six size nib. The section has a gentle taper that flares out slightly at the end, which is a departure from the curved grip of the Momento Zero. At the start of 2020, Leonardo switched their nib production from Bach to Yovo. I discussed this change in a previous video introducing the updates to the Momento Zero collection. The number six size stainless steel nib has an elegant profile with the Leonardo wings and logo directly underneath the breather hole. The nib size is stamped on the right side of the brand mark. The feed is instantly recognizable as a Yovo plastic feed. The nib and feed are part of a housing assembly that unscrews from the grip section, like so. The Momento Magico is available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and 1.1 millimeter nib sizes. By special order only, it is possible to obtain the Magico in a 14 karat gold nib with an ebonite feed. To keep your ink window clear and your piston operating smoothly, the Magico can be disassembled for maintenance using a special piston removal tool. This tool is available to purchase separately and is not included with the Momento Magico. To fill up the Magico's 1.5 milliliter capacity piston mechanism, twist the blind cap counterclockwise until the piston head is visible through the ink window. Then, fully submerge the nib and feed up to the section into a bottle of fountain pen ink like I have here. Then, with the nib submerged, slowly turn the blind cap clockwise until the whole entire blind cap then meets flush with the rest of the body of the pen. If you filled it correctly, you should see a volume of ink inside the window. If you do not see ink, then try the process again, making sure the nib is fully submerged up to where the nib meets the section. For the writing sample, I inked the Leonardo Momento Magico in extra fine point with one of the new ink colors also released this spring called Arancio Tarocco. Since the Magico has the same number six size stainless steel nib as the updated Momento Zero, I won't go into the full details about how the nib writes as it was covered in a previous video that I'll link in the description below. What I will comment on is the difference in feel between the Zero and the Magico. Despite both pens being made of acrylic resin, the Magico is about 20% lighter, weighing in at about 20 grams. 
The difference in weight is noticeable, with the Momento Zero feeling denser than the Magico. The Magico's piston knob adds a 5mm difference to the overall length of the pen. The difference is negligible when writing with the cap posted or with the cap in hand. Thanks to the pen's lightweight construction and balanced profile, the Magico feels just as comfortable as the Zero. Besides the weight, the Magico's most noticeable difference is the grip section. Unlike the Momento Zero's contoured grip, the Magico has a section that gently tapers and flares at the end, providing a wider area to hold. Overall, the Magico is another enjoyable Leonardo design, built with everyday writing in mind. Not only does the pen look stunning, but it also performs beautifully each time you pick it up. The Momento Magico is due to arrive in July of 2021. You may find all the available colors and trim options on goldspot.com for $225 per pen. As I mentioned earlier, a version with a 14 karat gold nib and an ebonite feed can be special ordered for an additional $300. I'd love to read your thoughts on this new Leonardo collection. Leave a comment below and hit the like button so my bosses will let me play with more pens. If you love a big, piston-filling pen, I suggest taking a look at our video on the Momento Zero Grande here. But you can compare the original Momento Zero with a Moonman 800 fountain pen in this video here. Subscribe to Goldspot Pens for more fine writing videos, how-tos, and unboxings here. Thank you for watching and stay inky, my friends. Take care.